Hello, welcome to the Journey of Vision. My name is Rosalind Streeter. I am a seer and prophet of God to the nations. And on this journey, you will soon learn it's just so much easier with God. So let's chat. Okay, you guys, so I am back again. Here we go. Another direct message from God for his children alone. This is related to the wealth transfer, and this is part three. Part three of the wealth transfer. Um, and this is going to fall after the one related to the pouring of the gold. Okay? All right, and if um, please go back into my videos to find out what I'm speaking of. This video is called Tell Them This Is Their Final Stretch. So stretch and choose me. So this is related to actually a vision that God showed me. And as he showed it to me, he began to speak to me on it. Okay. So I'm going to jump right into it. So God showed me this vision of me running, y'all, or like I was running, you know, and I was like, what in the world, you know, like, what is this vision about? And I knew I had something in my hand, but I was still running, okay? And so as God saw, showed me this vision of me running, um, as I looked at the vision, a lot of times when I see a part of a vision and I focus on it and ask God about it, he'll reveal the whole vision to me. So as I started to look at the vision, he opened the vision up to me and I could see that I was running on this track, but I had already came around the last curve, you guys, and it was literally the final stretch before the finish line, okay? And I was not too far off from the finish line. And so then I heard God say, hold on to the baton and finish your race. You are right there pace yourself and breathe you will make it just keep going that's what I heard him say then God said tell my people Rosalind that you will be stretched in this season stretched like you never been before don't leave me don't give up on me why you wait many have they left me because they said the Lord your God is taken too long this showed me who was with me no matter what race was thrown at them and when he said that, I knew there was different paths you guys that everyone had different instructions that everyone had God had gave to them right and sometimes it was too difficult sometimes it was just too difficult for some and they decided to go a different way Um, and that's what the baton meant. If God passed the baton to you, this was your instructions. This was something that he mandated that you had to get done. That was your part. And some dropped that baton. They decided to get out the race. Mm, my God. This showed me who was with me no matter what race was thrown at them. No matter what baton was handed to them. They chose me, speaking of the children of God, they chose me over the race, over the difficult times, Rosalind. They chose me and they will be greatly rewarded for this. I know what it looks like, my son, daughter, but count it all joy. And God keeps saying that, focus on counting it all joy. And I encourage you to read the scripture on that so it can encourage you. Though it seems there's no hope, See me standing in the mist, cheering you on. Then I saw a vision of me running down this track, you guys, the final stretch. <laughs> and God was on the sidelines, like just rooting me on, like, go, go, pace yourself, do your thing. <laughs> and that's what I saw. He was just cheering us on, you guys, to keep going. And that is important. And if you ever ran track before, you know what I mean. When you come down the final stretch, you guys, you are depleted especially if you didn't pace yourself my god you see the finish line right you're trying to make it there and then there's people right towards the end of the finish line just pouring into you rooting you on that's what god is saying i'm cheering you on you're gonna make it pace yourself but keep going and don't leave me tell them i am here and i'm not going nowhere many people my people left me, Rosalind. 
Tell them, don't love me because of what I do for you. Love me because I first loved you. Because I made a great sacrifice for you to show you my love through my loving son, Jesus. And at this moment, I knew God was saying, I want you to trust me to hold on, hold on to me and let me help you. Tell them to hold on to this last baton. Hold on to this last instruction. Hold on to this last stretch, you guys, because this is their final stretch. And they will win this race, the race to my glory, the wealth transfer. Rosalind, it's real. Many people that speaks against it is not listening. Many I do not know. I've been speaking about this transfer for years and still they deny my voice and countless confirmations. And at that moment I can hear, I mean, I could see God's disappointment and he was just like um, shaking his head in disappointment. They can't hear me even as you speak. So even though I'm speaking to some people, they still are saying, yeah, right. Like she don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, I mean, they can't hear me. That's what God is saying. You can't hear me. So nothing I say to you will make sense. Hear me now and hear me clear. Each and every son and daughter of mine have and will receive their instructions and it's up to them to follow me my will and win Rosalind of course they can choose their will and lose tell them the choice is theirs tell them to get on their hands and knees these are your instructions the ones that want to win. Tell them to get on their hands and knees on this day and cry out to me, their father. Give them instructions to tell me in secret as they pray what they have decided to choose. And this will determine the outcome of their race. Tell them do not lean to their own understanding about this. It's only by my grace that I have allowed this race to be ran by my people on different paths. So he wants you to take a moment, pray to him, and tell him if you're choosing his will or your will. Yes, many will finish across the finish line. They all will not finish at the same time, but they will finish. Tell my people to give my people grace as I have countless times for you. Some paths may be harder, greater than others, but as they also come around to their final stretch, let them see you before them, encouraging them to keep going and win. Rosalind, is it not correct that we all win? when any part of me crosses the finish line? Tell my children to obey me on this day and do not put their decisions in the comments. So just like God told you before, he was giving you instructions, don't put them in the comments, okay? Um, you got people who are lurking. Um, and he's saying this decision is between you and him. So the instructions that he has given you are you going to do it? Are you going to move on it or you're not? Let them know this final stretch will stretch them. And I heard God say, this is between me and you. It's going to stretch you in areas you've never been stretched before. And I can attest to that, y'all. God has started giving me instructions. Oh, listen. I'm like, I have I asked him like three more times, like, are you you really want me to do this? <laughs> Woo! Okay, stretching. I mean, 
it's not going to be comfortable at all many times it may get hard but it's for your own good i'm building you up for greater this is not the only race you will be giving my son my daughter did you not know your next race will require more from you this is what you're preparing for i see beyond where you can see i'm training you for your future not for your now come on lord if you choose me, you've already won this race and the one you are being trained for. Can I trust you, says the Lord, to stay with me, to stick by me when it gets tough. As I was whipped, countless lashes on my back. Oops. Hmm. I could have gave up, but I didn't. Because I was about my father's business. And the same goes for you. Let's finish this race together, stronger than ever before. Children of God, I love you deeply. Choose me and I will renew your strength. I'm done, Rosalind. Thank you. And I remember you guys seeing a vision. As God said that, I saw a vision of, of Jesus. And he was kneeling down. And all I could see was his back. And I could see the lashes on his back, y'all. I could see the blood on his back, you guys. Oof. And as I looked at it, it was even tough to look at, right? Do y'all know what God said? <sighs> Jesus said, Rosalind, it hurt, but it was worth it. Oh my God. I was thinking about just the depths of the cuts, the, the depths of the blood, Jesus. Oh. And God was definitely, you know, you could tell he was hurting. You could tell he was hurting. That's what I was thinking about as I'm looking at this vision, y'all. And all I hear God is say, say what? It hurt, but it was worth it. <sighs> Listen, God cares about us so deeply. And I encourage you guys to remind yourself of what god has done for us and remind yourself of why he did it for us because i think as time goes by we discount what he has done because jesus said it hurt but he said it it was worth it he said you was worth it and that's why he's here that's why he is preparing us for that great day of his coming and I can't wait. The wealth transfer, yes, I'm excited about it. But my God, his coming on that day? I am excited about it. You hear me? <laughs> so before I start crying, because I am such a crybaby when it comes to this, <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. Please go to God with everything that I just shared with you. Oof. Take a moment today and just tell God thank you for all that he has done for us, for never leaving us or forsaking us, to care so deeply for us that he decided to send his son Jesus, you guys, so that our way would be easy. My God. Just tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <sighs> All right, I'm getting teary, okay? <laughs> so you guys know I am so in love with love. God is love. Oh, I mean, truly love you. 